Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up GPU rendering for Blender. So the quick and dirty version of this is you change it from EV to cycles rendering in this tab. If you change it from CPU to GPU compute, it will be grayed out. It's not going to do anything different. It's still going to use the CPU. But if you go to edit, preferences, go to system, and then you have some options here. And depending on whether you have NVIDIA or AMD graphics card, um, you'll use either CUDA or Optics for NVIDIA or OpenCL for AMD. I don't have an AMD card. I have an NVIDIA card. And so I can use CUDA or Optics here. And I'll talk about all this in a moment. But once you turn this on, you're going to get a uh, GPU compute is no longer going to be grayed out. And if you render, it will take advantage of GPU compute. But let's take a step back and talk a little bit more about this. How do you know if you have a GPU? How do you know how to set this up? Um, if you don't know if you even have a GPU in your computer, I'd suggest looking at you know the box that your computer came in, or if you built it yourself, I'm sure you know if you have a GPU in there. Um, and then take a look at the Blender documentation for GPU rendering. If you do a quick web search for GPU rendering um, in Blender, you'll probably get this as the top search result. And you can read a little bit more about which graphics cards are supported and um, how to, and probably not how to set them up. If you want to learn how to set them up, you should go to the website for the respective graphics card you have. Make sure you have the latest drivers installed. All of that should make sure that CUDA and or Optics or OpenCL are installed correctly. I'll also mention there's a difference between CUDA and Optics. CUDA is a you know, compute that was supported in older graphics cards. And Optics is uh, able to take advantage of the RTX line of graphics cards and can use the ray tracing support that is built into them, which dramatically improves cycles, which does ray tracing. So it makes sense that with these new ray tracing cards, you get some additional capability that you didn't have before. So um, one last thing, if you just want to search your computer to see what kind of graphics card you have, you can, in Windows at least, you can do Windows R, you type in DXDIAG, you hit OK, and then this DXDIAG tool will turn uh, will come up. You can go to the display tab and then it should show your graphics card right there. So as you can see, I have a GeForce RTX 2070 and this has that optic support. So if you just do a regular render um, without GPU support turned on, I'm going to just hit F12 here. You're going to see that it's going to take a minute and 30 seconds to render out this scene. And that's problematic because this is a very low light scene. And in low light scenes, you need a lot of samples to render them and make them look good. Um, with this low sample count, there's a lot of noise. And even if I turned on denoising, it's just going to make it look really blurry and it's not going to look good at all. So rather than wait for that to finish, I'll show you what happens when you enable GPU support. So we can go to Edit, Preferences. I have Optics, so I'm going to take advantage of it. Turn on both GPU and CPU at the same time, so it's able to take advantage of both of them for compute while it's rendering. And then I'm going to switch it from CPU to GPU compute, and then render with F12. And you can already tell it's going way faster. And it's estimating there's five seconds left. So let's see what the total render time is for this. So 12 seconds. So we went from a minute and 30 seconds to 12 seconds just by turning on that GPU support. So that is already a huge improvement. Um, the difference between optics and CUDA here doesn't really become apparent just by doing low, uh, low sample counts. Um, in my experiments so far, it's taken about the same amount of time. So you might wonder why you would bother choosing one over the other. Like, what's the point of having this big 
RTX graphics card, if it actually takes less time to do CUDA, well, it becomes clear when you really turn up the sample count. So I'm going from 128 up to 50,000 now, and I'm not going to let this whole thing render because it's going to take a really long time. But we're looking at an hour and 32 minutes now for CUDA. And with optics, we're going to see an hour and seven minutes, so or an hour and 10. So it's it's definitely an improvement. It's not going to it's not completely game changing in that it's going to be twice as fast or something like that, but it is significantly faster. And if you're rendering, you know, 60 frames a second for this or something, it's I mean, it's you're going to get a dramatic improvement. Now, I will say, just for fun, if you do this on CPU, it's going to just take forever. Um, so let's just see what it says. It's 10 hours. So this is not this is not something I would even want to do on CPU because I just it would never finish. Um, so definitely take advantage of GPU um, a little bit on whether to check both boxes or not. If you have optics on, you turn off the CPU then it's going to take, let's see, an hour and 35 or hour and 33 versus what were we at, like an hour and seven um, before. So you will get a definitely an increase, yeah, an hour and eight minutes if you do both at the same time. So highly suggest you do both if you can. Um, like I said, I don't have an AMD card, so I can't use this tab, but I suspect there are some options here to use both um, your GPU and CPU here. Um, so I would suggest uh, looking more into the documentation for Blender if you want to understand a little bit more about this. And otherwise, if you have NVIDIA, take advantage of the optics settings. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, it was actually quite helpful for me because I didn't realize that optics was better than CUDA. And since I'd been using CUDA in the past with my older graphics card, I just kind of stuck with what I knew. And was using CUDA, but had no idea that I could get a performance boost with optics. So if you like this video, give us a like, uh, give us a comment, let us know what you thought. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And thanks so much for watching.